Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christina. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up a payment subscription within Adalo so that people can use the Adalo app that you've created, pay for the content, and then go back in and access the full content of the app. So this video is a culmination of a few different trial and errors that we've tried. Honestly, I think we went through three different versions of this before we landed on this particular version and the first one that we had was when we just had a user go into the Adalo app create an account and then they would exit out of the app sign up somewhere else subscribe to the app and then get a code that would match their data on the back end they would then come back to the app sync their account and then go into the app and access the content then we created a different version until we landed on this version where everything now works seamlessly and no one needs to grant access to the user manually or take payments in a weird way and everything is done in one con complete sign up process. Um, so really excited to share this with you and if you're interested, this app called Clear Biz System App is an app that I helped build. Jade is the founder of this app and she has lovingly given me an affiliate link so if you're interested in checking the app out, go ahead and check that link out below and we can go from there. So let's get started. You'll see this page here. This is the, this is the welcome screen that a user will see when they first download the app or if they access it via the web browser, the PWA. So they're gonna go on here and click create. This goes to the landing page of the system that the client has set up. They're able to click which one of these plans they want. So a quick thing about this specific workflow is that both of these trigger a Zapier integration that creates an account immediately as soon as someone pays. So as soon as they make a purchase, Kajabi takes that information and logs three main inputs. So that would be the email. The email becomes the user account email on here as well. Then it maps their full name to the full, full name blank. And then it also takes the last name of the user and sets it as the password for the account on a dollar. So that then allows a person to come back to the screen once they have paid and they can log in. Then they come here and they log in with their email and their password. And notice that in here, I have mentioned that this password is in fact case sensitive. So if they enter their uh, full name in with their first initial capitalized, this is where they'll want to do that. So that will be the password. And then once they log in, they're able to access the content. Um, but before they access the content, they'll see a screen that suggests them to go through the forget password flow. Adalo suggests using their kind of setup to reset the password, mainly because of security reasons. So now the user has the option of resetting their password should they choose to via that option. Of course, if they came into the screen and they didn't sign up, this takes them to the same page here. So at this point, I'm gonna log in. It's going to take me to this little thing and it says your account password is your last name. We recommend you reset your password for better security. So if they click on this, it'll take them to this screen, which will enter in their email, get a link to reset their account password. And that's the flow. And then this here is skip. When they skip, they come directly into the home page of the app and they're able to use the app. Now, originally I had the issue of not being able to update my profile. Now I'm able to do that with this update, this kind of new way of doing things, that's really nice. Um, so then everything has saved. So yeah, that's really awesome. And that's the user flow. And so and then really quickly, as we've mentioned, this is the first screen. So it's known as the welcome screen. They click on this. It takes them to the external page, which is this page right here. They sign up, they, they sign up for an account, they pay. Adalo then gets a zap from Kajabi that says create this user account. The user account has been created. Then they click on login. When they come back to the screen after they have paid, they come into this login screen directly. Once they come into this login screen, they're able to enter their email and their password and log in. So this, this is default login kind of UI by Adalo here. So nothing here is different. The submit button also um, directly logs the user in, links to this page called sync success, which is our welcome message here that says that they should probably update their um, password if they choose to. And then it links after that 
to the welcome page. Um, I don't think you need to do that. I think I have that set up just in case anything funky here happens and they can still go directly to that. But the most important thing is that this password, reset password button goes to the forget password and that's via the user login and forget password. And then skip here goes directly to the how to use this app page, which is the home page. From there, they're able to access the rest of the app. So that is how we've set up the flow. Originally I had like another sign in here and then a reset password flow here. And it was just so complicated, but I think this is cleaner. And you can set up the password. You can map different types of information from their sign up via the Kajabi. So ideally it would have been great if we could have just pulled in whatever password they used when they were paying for the subscription on Kajabi. But that is not possible because it's a security issue. They, they want to keep the password on Kajabi. So then instead of that, we are pulling in their last name as the temporary password. And then of course, once they go, once they're able to log in, they have the choice of immediately updating their password. Um, okay, that's it. Thank you so much to literally everyone that helped us figure this out. And hopefully this video will help anyone who is looking to do something similar in the future. 